So this morning I got an email asking me from a 10 plus 2 student. He has asked me, tell me tips to design a perfect career for myself. So I thought, why not try to make a video? So to start with, there is no such thing as perfect career, but definitely you can take steps so that you can design a better career than others. You will start with excitement when you are starting your course or maybe you are, when you're going to start your job. But along with excitement, there'll be a lot of confusion, right? The problem is most students do not strategize, right? So the first step will be get your career goals clear. What is your goal? Is it earning money or is it getting into research? Is it um, becoming a senior scientist or, or is it becoming a chief scientific officer? Where you want to go? How far you want to go, right? You have to decide that now itself, okay? Now, the second thing is you have to skill up strategically, okay? So whatever is your goal now, accordingly, you have to strategize. So if uh, you want to become a scientist, you have to target wet lab and dry lab techniques. If your uh, you know, target is to become a product manager, then communication skills is most important, soft skills is most important. If you, uh, you want to get uh, and ride the trend, then you should learn bioinformatics, AI, ML. So you know, these are the things you have to strategize. Now, moving forward, you should also build a portfolio. Now, no matter who you are in the biotech industry, if you don't have projects done, if you don't have any internships done, you are going to bleed. That means you're going to be in trouble because now nobody is listening to you. Nobody is giving you a break because you're a fresher. If you've done an internship, half battle is won because you're not a fresher. Now you have internship experience at least, right? So you have to build a portfolio of what are internships you have done, what are projects you have done, what you did. Probably you did some, uh, you know, uh, worked in some um, pr uh, teamwork, team projects in the college also. Please mention it and then highlight your skills. That's also very, very important. Now, the next step will be network like a pro. You know, most students find it very difficult to just extend a hand and say, hi, my name is this and I am from this, right? Because we are so scared of talking to strangers. We are told from the beginning that we should not talk to strangers, right? But the problem is if we don't network with strangers, they don't become uh, familiar and then we cannot take help from them for our jobs, hunt, right? So it's very, very important to network. You have to network through LinkedIn, online, offline, conferences, webinars, seminars. That's something you have to follow. Now, followed with that, make sure that your resume, CV and cover letter is really irresistible. That means it should be written in such a way that the person who reads it will definitely get impressed. And don't just impress by the words. Of course, when, you, when they talk to you also, you should impress them by whatever you speak to them, right? Now, moving forward, you should also apply smartly. Please don't apply to every job which is coming your way. Only apply to the jobs which you are interested in and then make sure to follow up make sure to check what's the status and why you're getting accepted or rejected do a follow-up email if in case it is because of salary if in case it is because of the location if in case it is because they got a better candidate right you can still try right when you show interest they show interest so that's something you have to remember now also you know, you have to ace the interview. Interview is also hard. Many people lack their technical skills, but they, they have perfected the interview giving skills. So you have to perfect the interview giving skills also. That is where Biotechnica's mock interviews will come into picture. More details are given in the description. Apart from that, you should also remember that you have to choose your first role wisely. If you choose something which is uh, not going to grow, then you will be stuck in it forever. So you should choose your career wisely, your direction wisely, and you will be able to design a perfect career. Now, apart from that, let me give you a bonus tip. You have to subscribe to Biotechnica. If you do that, you will get all the job alerts, all the details about what kind of jobs are being posted, what the industry is doing, what kind of uh, project they're expecting from you, what kind of work you should be knowing or skills you should be having. All of that you get on Biotechnica. So subscribe to us today on YouTube as well as our free newsletter. All the best.